Hey guys, this week we've got six easy dowel projects for you. We'll list all the items we use for each of these projects in the description, so you could check that out. We've got our materials laid out here. Our first project is this triangle solitaire game. For this one, we're using two half inch dowels. Follow along and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. All right guys, you saw how easy that first project was. It's complete, oiled up, ready to play. Now our next project is gonna be this fun little puzzle box that we're gonna build out of Hadouk here and a maple dowel. The design we do is not the only design you can do. You can modify this to make it bigger, smaller, more challenging, less challenging. Either way, this is a fun sort of a level up from this previous build. So follow along and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right guys, we just finished up that little puzzle game. Next up, we're gonna do this kind of fancier tic-tac-toe, which when this is done, it should be nice enough that you can all leave it out on your coffee table and it won't look like an eyesore. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna use one inch Paduk dowel, one inch maple dowel, and it looks like some Bolivian rosewood for the base. So this will be a nice easy one.
All right, we got tic-tac-toe done. That was a nice, easy project. And our next project might be even easier. We're gonna turn these two pieces into a charcuterie taco stand. All right, we got our taco stand done. It holds six tacos, so I don't know if that's for one or two people, but either way, it turned out great. Next up, we're actually gonna skip this one. This one only requires two dowels. We're gonna save that one till the end. So we're gonna work on this one. This is a bit of a, a memory game where each dowel gets chopped and gets some pigment in the underside. We'll, we'll teach you all how it works after, and then we're gonna use some black limba for the base. So that's coming up now. Okay guys, we just finished up this little memory game and I'm gonna quickly explain how it works before we move on to the next project. So as you can see here, we've got six different colors marked on the bottom of every single peg. And these pegs will all get flipped over so you can't see them. And what you do is roll the dice and then you have to try to remember where that color is. So blue comes up, you would have to try to remember where those are. So what we do is flip these all over. Okay, so now we can't see any of the colors. Roll the dice, try to remember where black is. Didn't get it, roll again. Missed it. Blue, missed it. So as you can see, after you get a bunch of rolls, you'll start to expose where each piece is and then you gotta remember where they are. And then if you get it right, you keep that peg and you keep going till there's no pegs left on the table. Whoever has the most sort of blocks here at the end or dowels uh, wins the game. All right, up next, we've got our dowel knot project. So we downloaded some plans off the internet. So we're gonna be following those and we'll see how it turns out.
this isn't working. So we started with one inch dowel and we thought we could modify the plans to make it work because the plans were designed around three quarter inch dowel, but obviously our notches and everything is not aligning. So we're gonna use some three quarter inch dowel and get back to the plans and try to carry on. Even after switching from the one inch dowel to the suggested three quarter inch dowel, these plans weren't very great. We bought them on the internet for I think $4.99, so we weren't really sure what to expect, but these, these plans really didn't have a lot of details, they were missing a lot of dimensions, and it left for a lot of guesswork. So this took a lot longer and, you know, really the results weren't what we were hoping for, but yeah, have a look at the finished product. Lots of room for improvement. If you've ever made this or know of other better plans, let us know in the comments because we want to reattempt this, but we're looking for some better plans to try it again. We just finished all six projects. Let us know which project is your favorite. And if you plan on making any of these, we've linked all the materials we used in the description below. So yeah, if you need some dowels for future projects, you can buy them on our website, but also let us know in the comments what you're gonna make because we'd love to see them.